Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amaka and this is Nizama Stitches. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to make a bubble dress with a mixture of Ankara patch. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. So these are the fabrics I'll be using. Now this is this is a this is a crepe fabric and this is my Ankara fabric and the and this this uh, and I'm going to be using this fringe. So now I'm going to fold my fabric into four. Now I folded my fabric into two. I folded it into two. It folded into two. I'm going to fold it again into four. In case you don't understand how I folded this fabric, now let's assume this is my fabric. I folded it into two and I folded it again into four. So this is how I folded it. The front neck width is, I'm going to use 3.5 inches for the front neck width. And the front neck depth, the front neck depth is four inches. And the back neck depth is one inch. So I'm going to connect the points. So this is the back neck line and this is the front neck line. I've drawn some lines already. Now I have my, I have my waist point here and the hip point. The shoulder to the waist is 19 inches and the shoulder to hip is 28 inches and the full length of the dress is is 38 inches and I have 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14.5 inches. 14.5 inches divided by 2 gives you 7 1 quarter. So I'm going to mark seven one quarter here. Now from this shoulder point, this seven one quarter, I'm going to mark, I'm going to take the sleeve length. Now this, this style, because of the style of the dress, this dress is a cut together shoulder. So from this point, I'm going to take the sleeve length. The sleeve length is 10 inches. The sleeve length is 10 inches plus one inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use to hem it. Put you here. So from this point, I'm going to come down by two inches for my shoulder slant. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is from this point, I'm going to take the round sleeve measurement. I'll take the round sleeve measurement. The round sleeve measurement I'm working with is 15 inches. 15 divided by 2 gives you 7.5 inches. Gives you 7.5 inches plus, I'm going to use 1 inch for ease. Gives you 7.5 inches plus 1 inch for ease. Gives you 8.5 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. Gives you 9, gives you 9.5 inches. So, now this is a free dress. This is a free dress. These lines I marked here. They are not really useful to me because I'm not going to, I'm not going to shape the dress. It's a free dress, but these lines are just for. They're going to serve as a guide. It's going. The line is going to serve as a guide. It's not as if I want to use it, but you can only use it if you want to. If you want your, if you want your dress to be somehow fitted, that like you want to shape your dress, that's when you can use these lines. But for this tutorial, I'm not shaping this dress. This dress is a very free dress. It's a very free dress. So. I'm going to take now from this point, from this point, I'm going to come in by 1.5 inches. And I'll connect it down to the, I'm going to connect it down to the hem of this dress. Sorry guys, my, the, my chalk is not clear, but I've changed it. I've changed it to red. Now, so I'm going to connect this point to this point. So 
I'm going to connect this now. From here, I came in by 1.5 inches. From this point, I came in by 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches. Now, this dress, like I said before, this dress is a very free dress. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'm just going to draw it down. I'm not using these lines. You can only use these lines if you want to shape your dress. If you want to shape your dress, which means you're going to work with a quarter of your waist circumference plus one inch for ease, then you now add your seam allowance. When, when you get to the hip point, you, you, mesh, you measure a quarter of your hip circumference plus one inch for ease, then you plus your seam allowance. When you get to this point, you take your, your hip measurement, your, your, a quarter of your hip measurement plus one inch for ease plus one inch seam allowance. But because I'm not shaping this dress, this dress is going to be a free dress. I'm going to rule this line down. I'm just going to rule it down. It's a very free dress. So now this is what I'm going to do. Now on the hem, on the hem, the same measurement I have here on the shoulder, that's what I'm going to take on the hem. Now the, the measurement I have here, the measurement I have on the shoulder is 18.5 inches. So the same measurement I have on the shoulder, I'm going to bring it down here. So here, I'm going to mark, now here, I'm going to mark 18 one quarter. The measurement I have on the shoulder is 18 one quarter. So I'm going to mark 18 one quarter here. And on the hemline, I'm going to mark the same measurement, 18 one quarter. Now I'm going to connect this point to this point. Just like this. So now I'm going to connect this point because I don't want here to be pointy. So I'm just going to do something like this. This dress is going to have pockets. So from this point, I'm going to mark 18 inches for the pockets. And the pocket is going to be seven inches. Now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut the back first. So I'm going to notch the pocket. So I'll remove the back panel. And I'll cut the front neckline. Now take note, the front has the front neckline has a slit. It has a slit. So from this point, from this point, I'm going to come down by four inches. So I'm going to cut this. I'll cut the front neckline. And I'm going to open the slit. So I'm now the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the facing. So my facing is unfold. And I'm going to place the front panel.
I'm going to cut it. So I'll remove it. Now what I'm going to do is this. From here, from here I'm going to mark four inches for the slit. Four inches for the slit. Now from this slit I'm going to mark three inches. And from here, I'll mark three inches. So this is the front facing. Now this is the front facing. Now for the back facing, So I'm going to place it on the facing just like this. And I'll cut it. I'll remove it. Now I'll mark three inches. I'll cut it. So this is the back facing. So I'll cut the pocket. So for the pocket, I'm going to fold this fabric into four because I need four pockets. So I'm going to So I'll cut it. So this is the pocket. Now I'm going to cut the patch. Now I've cut out the I've cut out the Ankara. I've cut out the Ankara for it. Now what I did is I folded my fabric into two. The measurement I used is the bust circumference. I used a quarter of the bust circumference. A quarter of the bust circumference is ten three quarter, and I added half inches seam allowance, which I'm going to use to fold this part. So that's what I did here. Now for the length. Now what I have here is. The length I have here is 15 inches. That's what I have. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my, I'm going to iron this. I'm going to iron in half inch seam allowance. Half inch seam allowance, I'll iron half inch and I'll do the same thing here and here. Iron in half inch seam allowance so that when I place it on the front panel, I'll pin it down, then I'll sew it. I'm going to sew it neatly. Now after sewing it neatly, I'm, I'm going to attach the frames. I'm going to sew the fringe. Um, th then I'm going to sew the fringe just like this. Now, after sewing it this way, after sewing it this way, I'm going to fix the I'm going to fix the pocket. Now I'll, I'll show you how to um, fix the pocket. Now this is how to sew the pocket. Let me show you how to sew the pocket. I'm going to place. So I'm going to place the pocket this way. I'm going to place this on the right side of the fabric and I'll sew it. I'm going to sew it. Then I'll bring the back panel. So I'm going to sew it. After sewing, I'll push it this way. 
and I'll top stitch. I'm going to top stitch. Then I'll bring the back panel. I'll bring the back panel um, and I'm going to On the back panel, now this is the back panel. This is the back panel. So now for the back panel, now this is the back panel. This is the right side of the back panel. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the pocket on the right side of the back panel and I'm going to sew it. Now let me illustrate with my pin. I'm going to sew it just like this. I'll sew it. After sewing, after sewing it this way, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to turn it this way and I'll top stitch. I'll top stitch. Just like I'm going to do on the front panel, I'll top stitch. Now, after doing that, I'm, I will now place the front panel. I'll now place the back panel and the front panel together, just like this. When I take this to my sewing machine, that is after I must have. I must have, after I must have sewn the, the facing, the neck facing, then I'll join the shoulder. I'll join the shoulder, then I'll sew here, and I'll sew here, I'll sew it down. So I'm also going to do the same thing here. I'm also going to do the same thing here. I'll join the shoulder, then I'll attach the pocket. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. For the facing, I have a tutorial on how to make, I have a tutorial on how to make facings, on how to sew your neckline facing. So I'm going to give the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. I don't want the video to be too long. So that's just it. I'll, so I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So guys, I'm done sewing. Now I've attached the facing. Now this is the facing. This is the facing. I have a tutorial on how to make facing, neckline facing. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. Now, this is what I did. After sewing the Ankara, after uh, after sewing the Ankara to the right to the front panel and attaching the pocket to each of the panels to the front and the back panel, I had to join the front panel and the back panel together and I stitched I I had to sew the I had to sew the shoulder. I started by sewing the shoulder. After sewing the shoulder, I joined the side I joined the side and I had to sew it this way to the pocket and I sewed it down. After that, I hemmed the lower part and hemmed the sleeve. So let me show you the, the right side of the dress. So this is the right side of the dress. Now what I'm going to do, now this is the right side of the dress, this is the pocket. So the client, now the client is going to be it for you to see what it looks like. So this is it. The client is going to wear it for you to see what it looks like. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel to support me. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.